Oh my gosh, I wanna buy it all. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, our travels keep bringing us back to Frederick, Maryland. I'm not even really sure why, but here we are. We're back in Frederick, Maryland. We're at the Goodwill, and we're about to head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, well, it's only been about a week since we were here the last time, so I'm not overly optimistic that we're gonna have a ton of new stuff on the shelf, but it's always worth popping in and looking and seeing what we can find. So these are really adorable. I think they're probably hobbyist pieces. This looks like a little Avon Pekingese. It's actually really cute. It's $1.49. Is it a little headless bird? What is this? That's kind of a crazy art glass sculpture. They've got $7.50 on that. I'm not really sure what's going on here. If it's supposed to be people or it's supposed to be heart. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I also don't think it's ideal for resale. Got some figurines here though. Oh, wannabe Yadros, but they're not. Looks like it says something on the bottom here. Something Sager. Annie Sager, maybe? I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> this time, I'm going around the side of the aisle because I missed that music box the last time. Totally missed the music box. All right, so I'm gonna peek through the glasses here. Usually I just draw a really quick look through the glasses. Sometimes something will catch my eye. Other times it's just a quick, a quick glance. I kind of like the look of those stems, but the flutes themselves, the little glasses, are just kind of boring. We've got some etching on the other pieces, but mostly they're florals. I wish there were something more fun than florals. <laughs> Every time I come here, this fun glass is always still here, and I'm like, one of these times, I'm just gonna give in and I'm just gonna buy it. Just wait for it. Lots of mugs here. This, what is this? Salt so, Lake 2020. found this on the shelf. I think this could be one of those flamingo planter baths things. I'm thinking that could be what it is. It could also just be a random hobbyist piece, but that ship right there looks really old. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just 250, put some flamingos in there, make it a little flamingo planter with some nice succulents. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I'm not positive. And I'm, I'm not really feeling like looking it up, so I'm just gonna grab it. Well, the Queensway lamp is finally gone. It found a home, and I think it was actually one of our viewers because they had commented on the video saying that it found a home with them. So that makes me happy that um, it found a home where someone will appreciate it. Because that was sad to see it sitting here for so long. So the Queensway lamp is gone. I'm not really seeing any other lamps that really strike me as being worth the shipping, I guess you could say. I mean, there's some nice lamps here that if you bought them and took them home and stuck them in your house, that's great, but none are really worth buying and shipping, I guess is what I'm saying. All right, well, our total spend there was $2.50, and now we are at the ReStore. So, I haven't been here before. A lot of my viewers had commented on previous videos at the Frederick Goodwill that I should check out the ReStore. So, I have not been to a Habitat for Humanity ReStore in a very, very, very long time. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna check it out, see what we can find. Hopefully we find something. Let's go check it out, here we go. This is crazy. <laughs> the last time I was at ReStore, I do not remember them having all of these housewares. But I like it. 
Those are super heavy. What is this? Well, I just like the look of the frosted glass, but I don't think it's anything special. It's some sort of serving piece. We've found the figurines. <laughs> Like Tweety lost her head at one point. <laughs> well, that's interesting, isn't it? What is it? I think maybe it. To hang, possibly. What is this? Forty five dollars. Three twenty five. That sure is nice. Chrome legs. Unfortunately, it's missing its little, uh, these ones have little buttons on them. But I love that it has the chairs. It matches my shoes. <laughs> and check this out. 225 on this. Oh my goodness, they've got some really nice furniture in here. Oh my gosh. I want to buy it all. Ah! It's a toucan. And all the bittersweet. Look at it all. Isn't it beautiful? I just asked if I could buy some of this and she said no problem. So I'm going to. Oh my gosh. They're only $60. I feel like I already have that one though. But no two are alike. So really I don't have it. I got this little figurine here too. I'll probably end up with that one too. <laughs> All right, well, I was walking by this and I saw those black veins and I knew right away we had some Raku. Um, I turned it over and the bottom says Brenman. I feel like we've bought and sold this in the past. Um, it is Raku, it's dated 1997. And it's actually two pieces. It comes with this nice little stand right here and I thought that was, that was really cool. It is a little bit big, so it's gonna be a little spending to ship but I feel like that's a really nice piece. I actually saw it and I thought, is that home goods? It's like too good to be true and it's not. There's another piece over there. That one's probably way too big to ship, but I think I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna stick this little guy in here and then we're gonna carry the vase. Maybe I'll check out that piece over there. This is like the big, look at my, I have big hands, all right, let's just be real. I have really big hands, but this is like a massive platter. <laughs> let's turn it over. I wonder if it's the same Raku artist. It is actually made by the same artist, which is very tempting to me, because I hate to split up the two pieces that are made by the same artist, but honestly, shipping that wouldn't be possible, so. <sighs> I may grab this one to sell on eBay and this one to do um, local pickup only. They want 45 for it, so I would have to double it to make it worth my time. I think we'll probably list this one up on Facebook Marketplace. Now, Walter's been listing all our stuff on Facebook Marketplace, um, but I think I'm going to grab this as well. All right, well, that was a fantastic experience. I had never been here before, and I'd only ever been to Habitat for Humanity once in the past. Um, I didn't know they had so many treasures, so now it's game on. For real. Um, I got those two bittersweet smung vases, which I will likely be keeping for myself because 
now I have three. And I feel like just one is never enough. I need, I need to have three. I incorporate them into my Halloween decor. I love the, the bittersweet with the amethyst glass. It just brings it all together. So, <laughs> the other pieces I will probably be reselling. Um, that big Raku piece will likely be going on Facebook Marketplace. The other Raku piece, I'm going to run it by Kate and Walter to see if it's it's safe to ship. I, I'm hesitant to ship anything that they deem unsafe because I don't want it to break. I would be devastated if some of the stuff that we ship breaks. Um, I'm always really sad when things arrive broken. So, that being said, um, our total spend was... 390 something dollars. Granted, we had the two bittersweet vases and um, we had a whole mishmash of stuff. I think that decanter set uh, was $100, which I was a little bit nervous on, but I feel like we're going to do all right on that. It was uh, something style Murano, and I always get real nervous when I see style Murano. Like those two words together, I'm like, well, is it really Murano? But it did say made in Italy. So. I took a chance on it. Um, the money's going to a good cause. It's going to Habitat for Humanity. So occasionally for places like this, I will, you know, just say, okay, all right. I know the money's going to a good cause and um, I can resell it. So we're going to get out of here now. I see there is a Salvation Army family store right across the street. I don't know if it's open or not because when I looked up thrift stores, it didn't show up. But we're going to go across the street, see if it's open, maybe check it out. Um, and I'll see you guys there. Will you look at that? It's a flying pig. Goodness gracious. I think the last time we saw one of these, they wanted a couple hundred dollars for it. So that's a deal. Oh, do you see the carnival? Yes. Sweet. Amethyst carnival. I don't see any damage to it either. $6.99, that's not a bad price. I'll take that. I mean, I'll pay for it, but I'll take it. Oh, ooh, what do we have here? Well, they look better from far away. I swear I have my glasses on. <laughs> that's a nice piece of glass. I don't see any signatures on it though, unfortunately. So I just spotted these on the shelf, and I thought, you know what? I really need those orange ones to match my red ones. They won $19.99 for them. I don't know much about reselling shoes, but I know a lot about wearing shoes. And I kind of like those ones, so we're going to grab those shoes. Here's a candle. <laughs> it smells really good, so I'm going to grab this as well. And the last thing I'm going to do is check over some jewelry jars that are over by the entrance. Well, here we've got a $15 jewelry jar. I see what looks like a Pandora bracelet in there. We've got a micro mosaic right there. It's a nice looking one too. I mean, I'm kind of digging it. The ones on top look like they could be gold filled like that one with the green stones. That one. That one right there looks fun. That enamel. So I think I'll pay 15 bucks for that and play with it. I love playing with jewelry jars. <laughs> so we'll grab this one. Stick it in there with our shoes. What else do we have? Hmm. One looks like it's got some dichroic glass. I don't know about that one. I mean, that wooden one is lots of fun. That one's $15 as well. Maybe I should just buy all the jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. Uh, that one's a whole bunch of bracelets. This one. There's an abalone ring in there. One in the bottom is curious. I don't know. And we've got more in here. What do we have here? It's 
It's hard to tell because it's all wavy. It's wavy glass. Hmm. Man, oh man, I feel like we should at least get two. Right? What are, these ones are $14.99 as well. What's this one have in it? Hmm. I don't know, guys. Oh, that one's got a... Oh, is it a Merc? Maybe it's a Merc. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll get both of them. That one's, I don't think it's Bakelite. I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, the Bakelite. I don't think it's Bakelite. I don't believe it is. And that's fake turquoise. I know because I had the exact same one in a lot of um, costume I bought recently. So, although that down there. No, all right, I think we're going to do maybe this one and this one and this one. And then we'll have fun going through it together. All right, well, our total spend there was $83. We did spend 45 of that on jewelry jars and $20 on shoes. So I think it was $8 for the vase, a little bit for the candle, and $8 for the flying pig, which we're going to be giving to Dagny. But we got some good stuff here at the Salvation Army. It was a smaller store, but I try not to discount the smaller stores. We did, we did all right. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. We went to three separate locations today and each one was better and better. And uh, I was pleased with everything we got today. I'm really excited about my bittersweet faces, not gonna lie. I'm going to find the perfect place for them. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see all of you tomorrow, so long. All right, so this is just gonna be a quick clip that I probably tack on to the end of a video, but we're at an auction today and um, I saw quilts. I saw quilts in the advertisement and I said, you know what, let's go. 54, 54. And now we have a giant right, pile guys, of quilts. Blower, Just after nice I got done saying, I don't need any more textiles. I've got this beautiful patriotic quilt. All right, on the, on the red and white quilts. We got two red and white. Oh, there's my keys. I was looking for those. <laughs> We've got a red and white quilt here. Um, this is a quilt topper. We got a few quilt toppers. This is a beautiful Lone Star quilt. And you guys know Lone Star is my favorite pattern. This is a uh, wool striped quilt. This one is like an olive and red. Number is... This one is probably my favorite 54, 54. quilt. It's just absolutely stunning. All right, another full parts cabinet right there. Two dollars to go. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars out there. Two dollars out there. It says from the Lewis family of right, Batavia, New nice York. Right there. Very nice again. So I thought that was really neat because my family is from upstate New York. 20, 20. We've got this guy, this beautiful, like, almost mustard yellow. A lot of these colors are great for fall. This one. And a coverlets here. These blue coverlets. And it just keeps going. <laughs> oh, we got another one. I wasn't paying attention. Look, Andrew got another one. Four dollars right side. I wasn't number paying attention. Fifteen, fifteen <laughs> on the three little baskets right there on the three Absolutely little baskets. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all of those. Did you bring your trailer? And we're probably gonna buy a lawnmower right. today too. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.